For today's movie review, I'll be reviewing Kamen Rider, the first, a movie based upon yet another popular tokusatsu TV show simply titled Kamen Rider. However, unlike the previous tokusatsu-based movie that I reviewed, at least I was familiar with Ultraman beforehand. This, however, I don't know jack shit about Kamen Rider, other than the fact that it's the second most popular superhero-themed TV show after Ultraman. And the version of the movie I watched was also called Masked Rider the First, but out of respect to both the fans and anything related to Tokusatsu, I'll just simply refer to the movie as Kamen Rider the First. So, is the movie any good? In terms of what the plot to Kamen Rider the First is about, the movie is an adaptation of the original Kamen Rider TV show, which in and of itself was about this person who got abducted by this evil organization called Shocker, who turned him into like this insect-themed cyborg, and at one point he breaks free from their control and decides to fight back against the organization. In terms of what I liked about the movie, I thought the film had an overall good dark tone. Considering the fact that the movie is about this dude that transforms into an insect-themed cyborg, as ridiculous as it sounds, the movie takes itself really seriously, and I think it works well in that regard. I also like the soundtrack as well. I think it's really pleasant to listen to, especially at parts where you hear like this calm, smoothing piano music playing in the background. The fight choreography is great, especially the fight scene revolved around the motorcycles. I think that's my favorite fight scene in the entire movie in terms of how they actually match to pull off these moves while on moving motorcycles. The costumes to both Kamen Rider and the enemy cyborgs I think look fantastic. And the movie has some interesting pacing because on one hand the movie does have a lot of consistent pacing but there are some parts in time where the pacing might be a bit too fast paced while other points that might be just a tad bit slow. And in terms of what I mean by fast paced, at one point I presume the evil organization responsible for turning the main character into Kamen Rider in the first place sends him to like this building where there's a shitload of security guards and you see Kamen Rider beat up all these security guards and leaves. What was the purpose to that? Because on one hand, I could presume that maybe he's testing out his new powers against the security guards to see how well he does, but if that's it, I kind of wish there was a bit more meat to it, like, oh, maybe he was at the place to retrieve some kind of weapon or data. No, he just goes there, beats up some goons, and leaves. That's it. And in terms of what I meant by slower paced, okay, the actual slow pacing says isn't even slow pacing. It's more a subplot shows up out of nowhere, because the subplot in question, when you first see it, you don't really think it connects to the story at all. At any time to cut back to it, I'm like, why are we coming back to this? I mean, granted, when the subplot ends, I'm like, okay, now I see where we're going with this. But I wish the subplot was a bit more connected to the main story in some way. And there's too many shaky camera angles. Granted, when they show, like, POV shots of certain characters, it's okay then. But during some of the fight scenes, there's a bit of shaky cam here and there, and it gets annoying. The transformation into Kamen Rider is not well explained or shown properly. Like, all of a sudden, you see the main character, and then you see him as Kamen Rider a few seconds later. Like, what, no transformation scene? Granted, on one hand, I'm kind of glad they don't show the transformation scene, but... I would have liked to have seen how the main character turns into Kamen Rider, and the CGI in the movie is pretty bad as well. For my final verdict of Kamen Rider the first, even though I've never seen the TV show in which this movie is based upon, as far as the actual movie itself goes, it's not perfect, but I definitely think it's good. Hell, it's surprisingly dramatic, considering the fact that it's a movie about a dude that transforms into this insect-themed cyborg that fights other insect-themed cyborgs. As ridiculous as it sounds, it totally works for the film. And for someone who hasn't seen anything really related to the Kamen Rider franchise, I think this is a good starting point if you're interested. And before I give my final rating, what did everyone else have to say about Kamen Rider the first? Looks like Kamen Rider the first got a lot of positive reviews. And so for my final rating of Kamen Rider the first, I give it a 3 out of 5. So to the people who actually are big fans of the Kamen Rider franchise, what's your favorite incarnation of the Kamen Rider? See you later.